In this video, I'm going to show you guys the best software you can get to increase your low content and no content book sales on the Kindle Direct Publishing platform. So if you haven't been here before, my name is Rory and I run this channel called Mr. Rosa. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the Amazon KDP business. But before we get into that, can I just ask you guys to hit that like and subscribe button. It means a lot to me. We've been smashing it at the moment. You guys have really been helping out this channel a lot. And yeah, let's just get straight into this video. So there is many softwares out there you can download to help increase your sales. And there's many sort of keyword suggestions and free interior places you can download. But this is by far the best one I have found. It is one I personally use a lot and it does cost a bit of money, but I can guarantee that you guys will earn that money back. So let's just go straight into the computer. We'll have a look at how much it costs and what stuff is included in this software. So you guys may have heard of it before. It is called Tangent Templates. So if we go and click buy now, we'll see what comes up. And as you can see, it is $59. Now, if you're in England, that would cost about £47. I'm not sure how much it is in euros. But as you can see, all, all it is here, you've got to put in your name and this is a sign up process. But yeah, for $59, you will get all of Tangent Templates. And it's something I really think you guys should invest in it. It's a great investment. And yeah, so I'm just going to go and quickly log in and we'll have a look what there is in this software. So now that we are logged in, let's just have a look at what comes up on the opening page. So as you can see, there is many interiors here such as blank paged one and it looks like that one has numbers on it. You have the classic college ruled line paper, you have wide ruled line paper, graph paper. I mean if I kept reading all of these the video would go on for hours. And yes if we just keep scrolling down you can see there is many many different types. Even sort of stuff like spell paper. I'm sure they sell well. Comic book paper. If you saw my other video you will see uh, how we made comic book interiors. And if we just keep scrolling down, music paper, cannabis review. And if you have a look here, there is also stuff such as paper games. I mean, there is ridiculous amounts. I can't even go through all of these. There won't be enough time. Oh, planners. Planners is definitely something I'd recommend to all you guys, especially at the beginning of a new year. They are very, very popular. And as you can see, they also had this November thing where in 30 days, once a day, they added a new interior for you guys to use. So you're never running out of ideas to come up with. So let's start by having a look at what happens when you click on one of these interiors. So let's just click on, say I wanted to download a hexagon paper. So if we click on that. As you can see, it comes up with an option of what trim size we would use. Now, I'm sure you guys know there is many, many different trim sizes, with the largest being 8.5 by 11 and the smallest being 5 by 8. Now, the classic one that I use is 6 by 9, very common, and it would be the normal sort of shape you would see when buying a book. Then what you would do is add the page count. So for me, it would be 120 pages if my keyboard would work. And then there would be an option for bleed or no bleed. Now, with hexagon paper, it depends. See, as you can see on the preview, it looks like it doesn't go right to the edges, but I feel like with it being hexagon paper, it would be the same principle as with lined paper. So I would probably click on bleed. And if we just have a look down here, as you can see, there is like we can make our custom one at the top here, or we can pick one of the presets, such as a five by eight, 50 pages and illustrator templates, etc., etc. if we wanted to change it in any way if we don't like anything that they put in themselves. So if we come off that, and this will be on all of the different interiors, so you can change any single one of these interiors. I've used many of these in the past, and they do sell very, very well. And like I've said in the other videos, how activity books are doing well and learning books, you have handwriting paper here, you have sketch paper. Uh, I mean, there is loads and loads of different things in this software which would sell well in these times. So that is only the first out of how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There is eight different tools you have in this software. So that is only number one of eight. Now if we go over to the designer tool and let's just pick our trim size. We just go 
going to go for the classic 6x9. Uh, we're going to click bleed, yes, and margins 151 pages. Let's go with that. And if we click create, as you can see, it is almost like a sort of Adobe, if we were creating this in Adobe Illustrator, this would be tangent templates version of that. So I know you've got Adobe Illustrator, you've got Canva, you've got Inkscape. There's many different ones you can use to create interiors, but this is this is one that is already included with that $59 package in tangent templates. So we're going to see how easy it would be to create a lined interior. So if I go to line, I'm just going to drag that up a bit and leave a bit of space at the top and just drag that along until we've gone across both sides. Then what I'm going to do is click Command C and Command V to paste it and then drag that down and then copy those two, Command C, Command V, drag that down till we have the right distance, that looks good. Then Command C, Command V, etc, etc. And there we have all of our interior. Now I'll just delete the bottom two lines and at, because it's being bleed we can go right to the edges and then it will just cut off when we come to download the interior when we click this download button here. So that was very easy, you saw how quick that took me. Uh, and then, as you can see on the left side here, we can add as many pages as we want. So we can click 120. If we click that, it will add 120. Oh, I didn't even know it could do this. Select to add 120 pages of, let's just click college rule to see what happens. And yeah, as you can see here, we have 120 pages of college ruled paper. So there is many different things you can do here. You have all sorts of different texts you can add, different fonts which they already have included, change the size, change bold, italic, bold, italic. There is so many different things you can do with this designer. And you don't even need Adobe Illustrator, which I know Adobe Illustrator I think costs over a hundred pounds a year. So this is already cheaper because you are not pay you are only paying a one-time purchase. You aren't having to pay again and again like over a monthly basis or a yearly basis. This is just a one-time purchase and you get all of this included. So if we go over to the next tool, just delete that and then go over to Tangent Builder. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure what this can do, but let's just have a look if we click create 120 page. Okay, so this looks like if you wanted to have a college ruled and dot grid notebook, so like college ruled on one side, dot grid on the other page, it looks like this is where you can do that. And yeah, there's many different things it looks like you can add. So if we click multi page select, and then yeah, we can just delete as many pages as we want. Delete selected, load a previous PDF, and not entirely sure. I mean, I've had tangent templates for a while now and I still don't know all the things you can do. There is many, many different things they have inside their software which you can use to increase your sales. So the fourth one we're going to have a look at is called KDP Helper. And if we have a look at this, if we go to our six by nine, and the number of pages, click 120. So paper white, interior bleed, let's just click yes and click continue. So this will show you all the measurements that are needed when it comes to creating your front cover and interior. The margins for creating a front cover with bleed would be 9.25 inches by 12.52 and the spine would be 0 0.27 inches and it looks like we can, if we click download here, let's just have a look what this is. Yes, yeah, so this is something I use when creating my front cover. What I'd do is I'd put that in the background and it's something I can work around so I get inside all the measurements and I don't get anything wrong. So that is the front cover dimensions and if we have a look at the interior here, it should show us all the bleed options for creating an interior. So like I've shown in my other videos, 6.125 inches by 9.25 with bleed. And as you can see here, it tells you what it would be in all the different ones, like Keynote, 441 points by 666. So I didn't even need to go onto Google Chrome to convert that. They already have it here in Tangent Templates. So that is a very useful thing. As you can see here, we can also download the PNG for an interior. So it's something we can work around. And yeah, that is very, very useful. Now, if we go to Listing Helper, so when you come to upload your books, 
this is what would be set out when you are uploading it. So we would have our title here where we would write our title. So let's just create a fun lizard notebook like that. And then the subtitle would be cool lizard journal for boys and girls. And then it shows you the preview of what it would look like when it's uploaded on Amazon, which is something Amazon don't even have when you're uploading your book themselves. And then you've also got the description so you can create your description. So let's just write something like this fun notebook is great for ages eight to 12. And something you can do is if I select that, then I can change which bits are bold. So if I wanted things to highlight, you can do that. And then with Amazon, if you wanted to create a bold description, so words that come up as bold, what you would do is you have to use all sorts of different signs. And what Tangent Templates is great at doing is it shows you what you would copy if you're creating that. So what I would do is I would just copy all of that and then paste it in the description box on the Amazon KDP website. So it shows you here how you create a bold text. And yet I find that very, very useful because I don't know all those different signs you have to use and all sorts of different coding you have to use to create like bold text and italic text on Amazon. Now, then you have the seven keywords box where you can practice all sorts of different keyword patterns that you want to use. And yeah, that is one that is very, very useful, tells you how much space you've got. So 50 characters and all that sort of stuff. Then your author, your other options, then your categories, because you got to add some categories. So this helps, uh, this shows you all the different categories are lined up when you click on each different section. And yeah, this is very, very useful when it comes to creating a upload template for KDP. And if we have a look down here, it looks like you can have a Chrome extension, which I don't even use myself. Maybe this is something I should look into to help me. And it looks like if you download this, uh, it allows you to access the listing helper and type in information for your book, click save. Yeah, so there's many, many different tools. And next up we have Category Explorer. And what this would allow you to do is find the perfect categories for your books. So if we were creating our lizard notebook, if I typed in animal to find out what categories would fit that, it will come up with all the different animal categories within KDP. So as you can see, there is many, many different sections. So if we were creating a lizard, we'd also do reptile, see if there's any reptile categories. And yes, as you can see, there is four different reptile categories. So it would depend on whether we're creating a non-fiction notebook for animals in general for pets or juvenile fiction. So like a fiction notebook, cartoon based, this would be very helpful in finding the correct category to put your notebook in. And the next one we have is pricing calculator. So this is useful to find out how much profit you would make from what price you put up on Amazon. So if we're creating a 120 page notebook with ink, let's say black, and then we list it. So the normal price I would go about listing is $6.99, but it varies for what kind of different book I create, such as what size it is and all sorts of stuff like that. Then if we click calculate, it will show us that the royalties we get from Amazon US would be $1.90. The royalties from UK Amazon would be £2.29 and the royalties from EU would be two euros 15. So I find this very useful if I wanted to upload books at different prices, say if I wanted to upload it slightly cheaper at 5.99 and then click calculate, it will show us that we are getting $1.30 for royalties from US, $1.69 from UK and $1.55 from EU. So it's useful in working out what you should price your book to get the best royalty profit for yourself. And if we look at more tools, it looks like there is all sorts of different things they've added. So cover panels. So let's just have a look at what these are like. So these are very useful if you're creating like a notebook and for a kid and they want to put their name across it. This would be very useful in creating that. So there is all sorts of different kinds for what kind of style you're going with you with your notebook. And let's just have a look. So what's PSD? 
So that is if we were uploading into Photoshop and if we click PNG and just open that up. So that is something we can just put on the front cover of Adobe Illustrator front cover. Actually, let's just have a look at what it would look like. So I'm gonna open Illustrator. So if we get our Illustrator file open, and if you haven't seen this video, I'll leave a link in the top corner where you can have a look at how I created this front cover. And if we drag over our cover panel leaf, so if I click back on Illustrator and just drag it from the downloads folder and have a look what happens. So it comes with a transparent background and we can just adjust the size by holding shift and we can shrink it down to whatever size we want. And as you can see, this would allow kids to put their name on the front cover of their notebook to add a bit more personalization to it. And it adds a cool effect to it because that's something that I would like so I can put my name. Or if you're creating school books, because when you have school books, what you would do is you put your name, your teacher's name and what subject it would be. So that is very, very useful. So it looks like there is many, many different tools you can use. And yeah, one I would definitely, definitely. Oh, that's useful as well. Trademark checker because Amazon are very serious with their trademarking of words. So that is where you can check words that are trademarked and what ones aren't. So you can find out which ones will be perfect using your title, subtitle and description. So I hope you guys found that video useful. That was really just a short representation of what big things this software can do. So I'll leave a link in the description for you guys if you want to go check it out. I would definitely, definitely recommend you go and do it because it has really helped me get many more sales and I really feel like it would help you guys. So if you did enjoy, remember to hit that like and subscribe button. It means a lot to me, it doesn't take you half a second to do. And well, hope to see you in the next one guys. Goodbye.